What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Brad, back with another video, long time no see. Been busy man, but uh, I wanted to talk to you guys in this video, give you guys another story time. The second video I believe in this little series, and this one is going to be about the first time I got stuck by a needle. Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast Mode. So you probably heard the uh, the getting stuck by the needle story from somebody somewhere along the way. Most of the times you're hoping it's a clean needle <laughs> whenever you hear these stories. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did indeed get stuck by a needle. Now this was, um, granted, I've been a nurse now, technically been a nurse now, I'm approaching a year, which is insane to say, um, but... I've been on my department and off of orientation for about three months or so. At this point in time when this happened, I was only, I was pretty fresh, man. I was like a couple weeks out of orientation. Anyways, here's what happened. So I, uh, I'm doing my rounds on my patients. My one patient has to get insulin, go and draw up the insulin. Well, I go into the patient's room, scan the armband, scan the med, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, this was not a clean needle stick. So I, <clears throat> let me let me try and break this down for you here. So here's the needle. Pinch the skin, right? I'm gonna get up and close with you guys. Boom, inject, okay, withdraw. Here's where I messed up. So uh, our insulin syringes are the kind where basically you have this little apparatus and this right here slides up to cover the needle. Does that make sense? Don't know how I pulled this one. The technique that I was using was two hands. And so I don't know what I did, but somehow, some way in the process of trying to cap the dirty needle, poke myself. And actually it was my thumb. I poked my thumb with a dirty needle. And so you can imagine if you were ever in that situation, how terrifying it could be, you know, because the obvious. So anyways, I felt silly. I was, you know, nervous because there's like a process you have to go through of having patients blood sent off and, and um, things like that. And thankfully everything checked out, but let me just tell you, that was a rough 24 hours waiting on results to come back. Long story short, you need to be careful, people. <laughs> you need to learn from my mistakes. It, what, you know, whether you're inserting the needle into the vial to withdraw medication, or if you're actually injecting it, or whenever you're recapping needles, always be on your toes. I'll tell you what, if, it, if I learned anything, it made me change my practice, because <laughs> I did not want to have that happen again. Anyway, just felt like getting on here and dropping a little story time for you guys, since I haven't made a video in so long, and I've been meaning to make this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe, subscribe button down below. Anyways, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.